today I'm going to read you a book called A Secret Worth Sharing. It was a beautiful summer day in the woodland. The birds were singing, the bees were buzzing, and the sun hung high in the sky like a bright golden coin. The perfect day to go exploring, decided Mo. And he set off to see what he could find. Mo was not used to being above ground in warm weather. And so after a while, he had to stop for a rest. Hot diggity, he puffed sitting down against the side of a mossy stump. Bugs and beetles, said the squeaky voice. Whatever's that? Mo jumped up in surprise and found a small furry face peering at him through a hole in the stump. Hello, he said nervously. I'm Mo. Who are you? A mouse, said the face and gave Mo the sweetest smile he had ever seen. The stump was hollow and Mo and Mouse had a nest inside it. It was a very nice nest, as Mo discovered when Mouse invited him in. Mo decided that Mouse was very nice too, and as he walked home that evening, he felt very pleased with himself for having made a new friend. Mo had other friends, but they all knew each other. Now he has a friend of his own. Mouse is my special friend, he told himself, and he decided to keep Mouse a secret and not to tell anyone about her. Mo had never had a secret before. It was very exciting, and he found it hard to think of anything else. So, he visited Mouse again the next day, and the day after, and the day after that. Mo spent so much time with Mouse that he didn't have time for his other friends. Squirrel, Hedgehog and Rabbit all called round to see Mo. But he was never in his burrow. Where is he? warned the squirrel. And what he's up to? warned the hedgehog. I hope he's all right, said Rabbit. One morning, anxious Mo was hurrying off for another secret visit to Mouse. Rabbit, hedgehog, and squirrel arrived. Hello, Mo said Rabbit. We haven't seen much of you recently, so we thought we all pop around. Mo was disappointed at first. He wanted to see Mouse again, but he couldn't tell his friends to go away. However, once they got talking, he found himself enjoying their company as he always did. So, Mo, said Rabbit eventually. What have you been up to? Mo suddenly felt very embarrassed. I don't know what you mean, he said. I've only... But before he could finish, he was interrupted. Hello, Mo, are you down there? Called a voice from outside. It was Mouse. I thought I might come and visit you for change, she explained to Mo. Rabbit, Hedgehog and Squirrel was very surprised, but delighted to meet her, and Mouse soon made friends with all of them. But Mo looked rather unhappy. What's wrong, Mo? asked Rabbit. Mouse was my special friend, said Mo gl glumly, but now I have to share her with everyone else. But Mo, said Mouse, giving Mo a hug. I'm just as much your friends as ever. Only now, I'm rabbits and squirrels and hedgehogs friends too. Friend 
friendship is a very special thing, explained Rabbit. But one of the things that make it so special is that the more you share it, the more you have. I didn't know that, said Mo. So you were keeping me a secret, smiled Mouse. Mo blushed. I suppose I was, he admitted. But now I know better. You are secret worth sharing, fumed Mo. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy the book. Good night.